how do we cultivate and maintain that kind of love for an unseen Savior, Jesus? And I got two thoughts. To be honest with you, the first thought's gonna be pretty easy. The second thought is gonna be hard, okay? Just preface. The first one, spend time alone with God. And you cannot cultivate love for, let's say, your spouse if you don't spend any time with them. If you and I want to love the Lord more, you spend time alone with him and his word in prayer. All right? Pretty self explanatory. That's the easy one. Let me get another drink before I tell you the hard one. This is because where I become everybody's not friend. Here's the hard one. Obey him. I would say this, y'all. In our day of sloppy grace, people think obedience is legalism and has no place under grace. And I think if people think that, they need to go read their Bibles. John 14, 21, Jesus says this, if anyone loves me, he'll obey my commands. And just two verses later in John 14, 23, he says, if anybody loves me, he'll obey my teaching. If I am not obeying God, if you're not obeying God, you will not be able to love him the way we should. 